Hi, I'm Michael. This video is to help members of boards and committees to get started with Lumio. Lumio is a private and secure service for your board or committee to talk about matters, make decisions, and keep track of everything. Using Lumio between meetings means you can progress work and stay in context so that when you do meet in person, you can focus on what matters most. We offer customer support, so do let us know if you have any questions or need help. Lumio works on most devices. There is no need to download any software or app, but you do need a computer, tablet, or smartphone with a current browser, say Chrome or Firefox or Safari, access to email, such as Outlook, Gmail, or ProtonMail, and of course, access to the internet. You will likely receive an email invitation from your administrator or chairperson to join your board's Lumio group. It will look something like this. In the middle of the email is a button to accept invitation. Click or tap on this. It will open a web page where you can create a Lumio user account. Enter your email address and click continue with email. Type in your name. We also ask that you read and accept the Lumio terms of service and privacy policy by checking the box. Click create account. To verify your email address, Lumio will send you an email. Go to your email inbox and you should see an email with subject sign in to Lumio. If it doesn't appear after a few minutes, check your spam folder. Copy the six digit code and go back to Lumio on your web browser. Click sign in and you will be taken to your Lumio group. When you arrive at your Lumio group, you will see the name of the group, a description of the group, including what it's to be used for, and some threads for discussions that are underway already. Open the thread by clicking on it. This thread is helping us prepare for our next meeting, where Takashi is asking, where should our focus be for the next meeting? I can see some comments already underway by Chloe and replies. Read the thread and the comments and scroll down until you come to the end of the thread where you can add your own comment. To add a comment, click in the field below Add Comment and type your message. Your comment will then be visible to anyone with access to the Lumio group. This helps you cut down on email traffic and you can see what other people are thinking as well. Scrolling back to the top of the thread, click on the group name to go back to your group page. Let's look at the October board meeting thread. Takashi has announced the meeting along with the date, time, place, and how to access the meeting. He has also added the agenda and some board papers, including a financial report. To see and read the reports, just click on the file to open it. Back on the thread, let's look at the comments that have been added. Takashi has attached the minutes from the last board meeting and is inviting us to accept them on Lumio. As before, click on the file to read the minutes, and when you're ready, proceed to vote. Let's say I accept the minutes. I can leave a short comment and submit my vote. The results are updated immediately. You can see who has accepted the minutes, who was undecided, and any comments that people have left. I see there is another poll in progress inviting me to approve the financial statements. As before, read the poll and any attachments and check out the progress of the results so far. I can see that two people have voted agree, but one person has voted disagree. Let's see if Chloe has left a reason. Chloe has asked a question about the financial report, and I can see that Jayesh has already responded to Chloe. I'm happy with Jayesh's response, so I will vote agree to approve the financial report.
you can see the results have been updated straight away. Going back to our Lumio group, I see another discussion is in progress. Chloe has started a discussion about the hiring policy, and Jayesh has already responded. Similar to Chloe, you too can start a discussion on any topic that you're concerned about or would like to raise to your board or committee. To do so, go back to your group page and click New Thread. So that's our introduction for how you can use Lumio to interact with your board or committee. Although there is a lot more to Lumio, there are really just three things you need to know to get started. How to sign in, how to write a comment, and how to vote in a poll. If you can do those three things, you are now collaborating online with your board or committee on Lumio. Thank you, and don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions.